this is your boy Lightsbook CEO, and this is episode one of the prelude player creation and the game winning pad. AI, glad you're here. I'm Zheng. Oh, uh, hey, Zheng. I've been assigned to work with you here at Media Day and moving forward doing your time with the team. Everybody's waiting for you, so let's get started. Please <laughs> stand here and look forward. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, just hold on now while we get some headshots. Now, as you can see, it's time to create your my player. Now it has different faces, and um, I basically went down and scrolled through a bunch of different faces so you guys could get a feel of um, the different types of faces that they had. So just browse through what I'm scrolling through right now and see if you guys like a couple of the faces. See if you guys um, like the graphics for the faces, the features of the faces because a lot of people was asking me was it just a Chinese dude that you could make no it's not it's my career obviously you can be able to make different types of my players whether it's black white Chinese um, you know Arab whatever you can be able to do different type of my um, players it'll never be just one person so yeah this basically the different faces and stuff and then me going through these I kind of found one that I like. This is not going to be my official player's face or anything like that. Because um, me personally, I'm going to be doing the face scan. So, I'm just testing out these different um, faces right now. And then showing you guys at the same time. And the one that I uh, like the best was um, down a little bit more. It looked the most like my player um, last year. Obviously, I couldn't find anyone with dreads. So... Yeah, but this is the player that um I like the most. I'm gonna get into creating him a little bit more, and um as you can see, then you can um change his hair. You know, it's different hairstyles. You got the short afro, messy spike, natural fade, curly fade, natural, um short tapered fade, number three spiky fade, and me personally. Y'all already know I like the natural, man. Go on and give me a little natural afro. Let me show my good old wool. Yeah, man. So, this is just a um, few of the hairstyles. So, you guys see what um, 2K put in there. And I don't even think this is all the hairstyles. I think this is just a little taste of the hairstyles for the prelude. Obviously, they're not going to give us everything, you know. Because they want to charge us for the hairstyles. But, I'm going to go with the natural look, man. Like I said, show my wool. You could change your scar, your eyebrows. Um, and I'm going through this slow so you guys can see eyes, ears, your nose, your cheeks, your mouth, um, facial hair. And you know I had to go for the beard. Every 2K, I always have the beard. But it's not, they don't have all the beards here or all the facial hair. So I had to go with the best one I seen fit for me. And it's obviously the facial hair number eight. It could have been better, but I like how it is. It's looking more and more realistic every year, you know. Change my skin color a little bit, you know. I am light-skinned, but I'm going to make myself a little darker, man. A little darker because you know I'm brown in real life. So, therefore, got to make my man a brown tone, man. Ain't nothing wrong with a little bit of brown in your life. But... We gonna save this I think we've right got now. It. Let's move on quickly. <laughs> How was you right here? Uh, it was great. Thank you. Okay, great. Uh, do you need anything? Are you are you thirsty, hungry? Oh no, man, you? I'm all good. Just uh, you know, excited to get started. Great. Um, stand here, please. Right over here, we're gonna get a list of your vitals. Stay right there, please. Then it's time to create your um your player's identity. So therefore, I'm going to put my first name. Then I'm going to put my last name. And as you can see, for my first name, it was down below in the panel. And for my last name, it was down below in the panel. Then you're going to put where you're from, okay? Well, 
obviously you're gonna put the college you came from and i'm gonna put Rutgers because originally i'm from jersey so that's the closest school in well it's in jersey so you know i'm going to definitely use Rutgers. <laughs> Perfect, let's keep moving. Okay, that one's so bad, so what's next? Uh, he will be logging your position. Right there, please. Okay. Now it's time to pick your build. You got your point guard, your shooting guards, your small forwards and um, your power forwards and your centers. But y'all know me, every year I make the same type of position. I go for the small forward. I like being a small forward. Originally, I played a point guard, but I like being a small forward because I like always mixing my build with some type of slashing and Just a few more to go, we'll try to dunks. do this as quickly as we can. Okay, so uh, what are we looking for here? Uh, can you please let us know what your game is like? My game? Now it's time to pick out your build. What archetype you want to be? What are you going to mix? And me, this is the prelude. This is not going to be the player I'm going to use when 2K19 comes out. I'm just browsing the badges. Um, I'm seeing what a pure slasher gets. And I'm actually amazed that some of the badges a pure slasher gets. And I'm amazed that some of the badges a lot of other archetypes get, man. Especially the pure slashers. I would have never expected them to get corner specialists, being as though they couldn't shoot last year. So that's a big step up. But you know me, I basically wanted to try to build I had last year, a shot creating slasher, and see how it is. It's not what I thought it would be. It's definitely not as good as it was last year. I can't say that. Wish it was better, but I'm going to run through the prelude with this build. And I like some of the badges, like um, catch and shoot, for instance. I didn't get catch and shoot last year. So I'm happy that um, they gave you catch and shoot this year. And if I had it last year, a lot of my shots would have been even more knocked down. You know what I'm saying? A couple of the gold badges. I'm, I'm digging them. Acrobat, you know, I'm feeling that. Even some of the badges that they give you, period. Like, you get limitless range now. We did not get that at first. So that's nice, man. That's nice. But like I said, just messing around. And um, let's get it. Okay, exactly what we needed. Almost done oh. now. Let's continue. So I am Stand right up against the water. We're going to measure again. your height. Okay. Now, time to mess around with the height. Now, what I noticed this year is at 6'8", you don't lose no type of attributes at all. So that's interesting, okay? I was 6'7 last year and you didn't lose any attributes. So 6'8", I'm going to definitely go with that because I can be an inch taller now man and still nothing will affect my player i like that i really really like that but i was just messing around with the <laughs> you're taller than i expected to see <laughs> okay what you're still doing fine you need up. a cup of water or anything no nah, man i'm all good and Let's your living situation is taking care of now, uh yeah yeah i think so next station is weight okay obviously if you want a, uh more contact dunk you want to go heavier but this year i seen at 222 it didn't affect anything Everything was good. You know, I'm usually 225. I like that. But I really don't want anything to decrease or, like, increase at the moment. I'm just messing around with it, going up and down with the weight, seeing what's what. You see me stuck on 225 because that's what I do every year, man. It's the 225 thing. Actually, on 17, I, I went 230 with the pure slasher. Well, with the slasher. I'm talking about pure but with the yeah, air with the slasher. So I mean, what y'all think about the weight, man? It's crazy, it's crazy. 
222 it is, okay. man. Six, One last eight, thing to do. We need your wingspan. Okay, you, sure thing. You're almost there. Just uh, right here? Yes. Arms up, please. Now, what definitely shocked me is the wingspan. I always max out my wingspan, but this year I can't do it based on the fact. Look how much stuff goes down, man. You know what I mean? A lot of stuff does go up, but look how much stuff goes down, and I do not have time for my stuff to go down. I need all the attributes I could get, man. Blocking goes up, but everything else goes down. Okay, we have all we need. Simple, right? <laughs> yeah. Please follow me. The team is waiting. Okay. Hey, I wait. Hey, 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 so far away from home. Press the name hard, drive the D, you know what you need to do. Okay. And I collapse the D, kick it to wave for the last shot. Two. You understand? Understand? Uh, hey. Yeah, yeah, I'm on it. Good ball. To me. Fine. I can do that. Sometimes it's just about making the right play, man. What are you going to do in a game time situation like this? He breaks to the corner. You got the ball. There's the screen. He pops out towards the three. Hit A to pass. There's the game winning pass. And that's the ball game, fella. That's what you do, man. They gon' know your name.
you play well tonight. You were good in rotation and active on the offensive glass. You really think that? Yeah, you really pushed the tempo. I pushed the tempo? But in transition, you pushed the tempo in transition. Did coach tell you to say that to me? Well, I, I just heard him say it to the papers. I'm working, man. That should have been my shot. We won the game. How do you think I play? Good play. Good. Good. Well, thank you, Wei. Yo, I'll be out in a minute. See? Wasn't that hard, you know? Just quick, to the point. I think, um... You're improving. <laughs>